Hi, welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can install Windows 11 on KVM step by step. So if you wanted to follow step by step instruction on my website, you can do that. I will put the link in the description. So before you begin, there are some prerequisites though. Uh, first thing, um, you need to have Windows 11 IOC image downloaded from the website. So I'll put the link in the description so that you can go ahead and download that. And you need to have the Windows 11 Word IO driver for KVM. So you can also click here to download that as well. Finally, you need to have KVM packages installed on your Linux machine. So uh, depending on version of the Linux machine that you are using, you can just uh, enter the command of what I've shown here and it will let you install the KVM packages on your machine. So I'm using Ubuntu on my laptop right now. So I just have to copy this entire command and just paste it on my terminal. So let me copy that and open a terminal and just right click and paste it and hit enter and enter the password for my account and that's it and you see it's zero upgraded which means I have already installed it so I don't need to do anything so if you don't have it installed you might have to install it and then proceed with the next step I already downloaded the files in the download directory so for example the word IO drivers and the Windows 11 ISO file so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that files to the KVM directory, which is located in var lib, lib word images. As you can see, I typed ls and you can see the files, both the files that I have. And I'm going to move that files. To move the file, let me switch the directory, cd home safe downloads. And uh, to move the file, you can type mv for move hyphen t and the destination, which is var lib lib word images and the two files that I have in this location. So just copy and paste that. It will take some time for to copy these files to the destination. Once done, you may proceed with the Windows 11 installation. So there are two ways you can install Windows 11 on KVM. You can use CLI based or you can use GUI based. We are going to install the Windows 11 machine using the GUI based method. Okay, so for that, we need to use something called Virtualization Manager. To open the virtualization manager, you need to type word hyphen manager. A window would appear and uh, it says virtual machine manager. As you can see, I already have an Ubuntu machine in it. So to create a brand new virtual machine, you may click on the create new VM. A new window would pop up. So you have different choices to make. Uh, you have local install media, network install, network boot, uh, import existing disk image. So if you have QCOW2 image, you can use the import existing disk image. Uh, but in, my, in our case, it's just a purely a brand new installation with ISO. So you can choose the first option, which is local install media, ISO image or CD-ROM and click on forward. Now you need to choose the ISO or CD-ROM for the installation media. We already have it in our location. So you may click on browse. And uh, as you can see, by default, it, it took you to the var lib lib word images directory. So you just have to choose the Windows 11 image from there. Uh, by default, it would automatically pick up the Windows uh, 10 as a operating system. However, um, if you like, you can uncheck the option and manually select the operating system. But uh, at the time of this recording, Windows 11 is not there in the list. Better you keep the Windows 10 itself and click on forward. And you need to configure memory and CPU. 4 gigs would be fine and 2 CPUs should be fine as well. But I'm going to give maybe 8 gigs of RAM. And the CPU, I'm going to give 4. As you can see, I have 12 CPUs, so I can give 4. And you can also install the Windows 11 without any issues with just 2 CPUs. Click on forward. And I'm going to create a virtual hard disk for the Windows 11 machine, right? So this, uh, I'm going to keep it like 40 gig. That is enough for me. Uh, if you have more storage, you may increase it depending on your need. And once you have done that, you may click on forward. So here I need to name the VM. It has picked up the Windows 10 as a VM name. So I'm going to change it to Windows 11. And after that, I have to click the option which says customize configuration before install. And if you expand the network selection, you can see by default it, it has picked up NAT, which is good for us. And click on finish. As we have chosen customize configuration before install, we got a window where you can customize a lot of the configuration that we're gonna use for the operating system. So the first things first, overview. We're gonna enable secure boot here. 
in my previous video i have uh, shown you how you can enable a secure boot and tpm on kvm so you need to do that first which is already mentioned in my blog article so you may follow that and come back here and continue with this change the chipset to i44 tfx and uh, the last option in the list and click on apply and you need to add the tpm so click on add hardware and in the add new virtual hardware window choose tpm in that model choose tis and click on finish and you can see the tpm version 2.0 has been added next we are going to configure the cpu even though we have allocated four cpu the windows machine is not going to recognize that so select the cpu under topology check the option which says manually set cpu topology so in that sockets change to one and cores two threads two and in the current allocation change back to four and click on apply there is nothing you have to do on the memory click on boot options and enable the cd rom which is the windows 11 iso and just keep it like that so the first primary boot device would be the hard disk the virtual hard disk we created and the second would be cd rom so what would happen is when you boot for the first time it will try to boot from the hard disk and since there is no files in it it will skip and move to the windows 11 iso cd rom so it will boot from it install it on the hard disk and once you reboot the machine then it will boot from the hard disk because we already moved the files from the cd rom to the hard disk you keep the settings like this and cl click on apply uh, next uh, in the virtual hard disk that we created we need to change that from sata to vertio click on apply and um, we already added the windows 11 iso image so we also need to add another iso image which is a vertio kvm driver so to do that click on add hardware and in that choose storage and click on manage and then this time choose vertio driver under device type change that to cd-rom device and click on finish when we begin the installation we have chosen the network interface as uh, nat which is good but you need to change that from device model to vertio in order for it to work properly and click on apply next you need to also add a vnc driver click on add our hardware and click on graphics from there type choose uh, vnc server and click on finish and you may click on begin installation so press any key to boot from it so make sure you press any key so it will boot from the cd choose the language of your choice time keyboard and then click on next and then install now the setup would now load um, since i don't have a product key i can choose i don't have a product key at the moment and also if you have product key it is not going to work because there is no internet connectivity for the host which we'll have to fix it at the end of the installation so for now just choose i don't have a product key so you will be getting the versions of windows that you're going to install so i'm going to choose windows 11 pro and click on next accept the license agreement and then click on next which type of installation do you want choose custom install windows only so where is the virtual hard disk we don't see any right that's because there is no driver for it to detect we're going to click on load driver and click on ok because we attach the word your driver as a cd rom it will detect that so choose windows 11 from it and then click on next after a few seconds you will see the virtual hard disk on the installation screens so as you can see there is a drive zero and allocated space so choose that and then click on next and the uh, installation just now begin and uh, you can see the copying file started now so this process would take some time so you need to have some patience let me fast forward this during the installation it is expected that the windows will you know reboot a couple of times so just wait for it to come back up just a moment The windows logo just appeared and uh, in this choose the you know the country or region that you would like keyboard language of your choice i don't want to add any extra keyboard and i'm going to choose i don't have an internet connection and i'm going to continue with the limited setup if you are using latest version of windows 11 iso image you most likely won't get i don't have internet option so what will you do 
For example, this is my another installation setup with the latest Windows 11 ISO image in it. At the moment, I do not see any option that says I don't have internet connection and many users will stuck here. And here is a workaround for that. While you are on the screen, press Shift F10. You might have to use function key as well for it to work. You'll get a command prompt. Here, you need to enter the command OOBE backslash bypass NRO and hit enter. The system would now reboot and after it's come back up, you will have to start over again with the Windows 11 initial setup wizard. Eventually, on the let's connect you to the network screen, you now get an option that says I don't have internet. Click on that and continue with the limited setup. The one more benefit of not having the internet connectivity is that you can create your local account. So continue with the limited setup and then it will ask you to set up the username and password and things like that. So enter the you know username that you're going to use. And then next and the conf confirm the password and then next it will ask you three security questions so you may answer them and then click on next uh, so in the privacy settings you choose whatever you like almost there this is the desktop and you don't see some of the logos because we don't have internet connectivity yet on the machine so we're gonna fix that right now if i click on display settings I don't see any options to adjust uh, screen size because there is no driver for it, which we're gonna fix it right now. So click on the start menu and go to computer management. A window would appear and choose device manager. And as you can see, there are some drivers which is not present on the operating systems. So first uh, we are going to fix a network adapter, ethernet controller under other devices. So right click on the ethernet controller, click on update driver and browse my computer for drivers and attach some CD drive that we have added with the word IO. And it will search for the drivers for the Ethernet adapter. As you can see, it has picked up the Red Hat Word IO Ethernet adapter, so which, which is good. So after that, click on close. And then let's head on to PCI device. So right click on that and do the same procedure like what we did for the network adapter. And it will also install the drivers. Close this. You're gonna do it for the last drivers as well. There's one more thing that we need to do, which is the display adapter that we need to install or upgrade, right? So we already have Microsoft, you know, generic uh, adapter. So we're gonna update that as well. Right click on that basic adapter, update it. And just like we did for the other drivers, just do it as well. All right, and if you go to the display settings, you will see I now have the options to adjust the display resolution, which is good. So I can just keep the changes. Okay, which is good. You can also see the internet connection is back online. Next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to open up the edge. Since I'm opening the edge for the first time, I'm getting some welcome screen from the Microsoft. The main important part is to understand whether I can access the internet or not, right? So I can open my website just fine. And uh, that's it. We have just installed the Windows 11 on KVM and you can open the RDP and uh, start using it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.